my name is Mary Ellen Lowe, and I am a fourth grade teacher for the Detroit Public Schools. And I am using this new approach called Manual of the Expert, which I'm pretty excited about. I've been using a lot of creative drama in my classroom on and off as a tool, as a teaching tool. But the difference between creative drama and Mantle of the Expert, I feel, is that Mantle of the Expert is much more of a holistic philosophy. Mantle of the Expert is a system of teaching and learning which was developed by Dorothy Hethcote, who is a retired professor of education from the University of Newcastle upon Tyne in England. Drama is interacting as if you are other people in other places. Mantle, the expert, takes that idea and carries it into you imagine that you are experts in a particular field. For example, the students might examine with the teacher that they are journalists. If you start to be to interact as if you're journalists, then you will learn the skills the journalists need to. And all those skills are in the curriculum. The skills of reading, the skills of interviewing, of talking, of writing. I said, I phrased the question, if you were to travel around the United States and want to learn about the people, the culture, and the history, what could you be? So they gave me their list of what they wanted to be and what they could be, and then we voted on the one that they decided they all wanted to be, and they chose Explorers. And they actually become experts working for this corporation. I take my company and we go explore. We work as the scientists, we analyze things. Our office is over there with the computer. People bring us samples of the water and the air and stuff, we be and going, we analyze them. We be going to puzzles. different kind of islands and uh, underground and um, caves and underwater. We found fool's gold. We found some fool's gold in the uh, caves. We went to Australia. We got an Australian five dollar. And we got a fossil under the Show water. Me what you can do with that. We can wear our name badges and go in the back of the room, act like we're really explorers. I don't feel the same. I feel like a real explorer, and I'm there doing the research. You're really working like you're like 25 or something, really working. It feels like I'm really an explorer. I feel proud. Children don't become experts by telling, you don't tell them they're experts. They gather expertise through the tasks that they do. And in doing that, they start to use their imaginations to consider a professional relationship towards content. This is a big bucket. We have 25 employees. For those 25 employees, our budget is a million dollars a year for salary. Whoever works on payroll salary budget is going to have to try to figure out how to split that million dollars by 25 employees. Or schedule, there's two. There's two of you, Stephanie. Explorers, there's about 25. No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 25 explorers all together. Oh, yeah. 3,000 times 10. Three. Oh, good. That's too much. Yeah. How about, like, right now I'm using it for social studies mainly. However, you use all the other subjects in Explorers. We use reading, we use writing, they research, and this provides them a chance to be creative, which I believe is directly related to higher order thinking skills, which definitely causes acceleration in the academic area. It's actually based in very simple principles, very basic principles of um, sharing responsibility and sharing power, sharing authority with students. It goes to the root of what do you think the relationship between teacher and students should be. And I believe the relationship between teacher and students should be one of colleagues in a community of teaching and learning. Tell me what we could do. You know some of the things we've done. What would help? Raise your energy a bit. Do you want to talk for a bit rather than listen to me? Would that help? Yeah. Okay. How much is it what I've been used to? And because I feel like I'm losing control, I step in as teacher. And how much of it 
would I have been able to handle in role? But don't ruin it for everybody else. Don't be a wise guy. Don't be silly. Is that an agreement that we all can agree on? Yes. yes. So a master teacher at Manlow, the expert, would be able to pick up the lesson and just figure out where to take it. But I'm not there yet. I mean, I'm just a baby. A baby Manlow, the expert person. This philosophy doesn't just teach facts and history. It teaches life, and it teaches the kids how to be decision makers. It teaches them how to be more aware of the ethical decisions that they're faced with on a regular basis. We could try to find how he made a fortune off the land, and we could try to make a fortune off it too, just a little bit, for our company so we could have more supplies and things. Now that's something we would have to talk about as a company. Are we there to make money off the land? No. no. I think that what it does is it brings out things in children's lives that they wouldn't normally be brought out. So if we're there to research the land, would it be right for us, Leah, to take something from the no, land? No. no. But she but, has a point. She says maybe we could take something from the land and nobody would notice, you think? No. no. That's stealing. Is stealing. Stealing. Stealing is bad if you get caught or not. Some people might uh, make us shut down our company from taking something that doesn't yeah. belong So to what us. one person does might affect the whole company. Yeah, and yeah. then we'll get shut down. And we will end up the So world. if there is a chance that we will get shut down as a company, can we agree that none of us will take anything without asking permission first? Yeah. Yes. It's practice for life. It's rehearsal for life. And if, if those ethical dilemmas and decisions can be looked at, through this now, then it's going to carry over into their lives to allow them to be productive citizens in the real world. I've never done this before. And so it's kind of on the job training. The process drama is really easy for me, but to add the ethical dilemmas and to add the corporation and so that it's an ongoing as opposed to just one time activity is really interesting because there's so many different things that you can do. When you use drama methodologies, you've got more tools at your command. You're allowed to get up and move around or to stand as if you're in a photograph or walk around as if you're taking someone on a tour of your house. I'm always thinking, okay, is this the right activity at this moment for the group? Is this working? So if they've got high energy and they need to move, let them move. If they've low energy and they need to sit down, let them sit down and rest. When I began as a teacher, my attention was on me. And when children were not following me, I got irritated and I thought, well, I've planned a great lesson. They should be interested in this. Now, I abandon the plan. This is also to do with the aesthetics of teaching because it's dynamics. You can't pre-plan what you're going to do. You have to read the mood of the group and feel it. If you can get them interested in learning again in a different way, then it's worth it. In my situation, there's, there's boys that are nine and ten years old that are already turned off to school. We get to do boring stuff in my old class, but here they keep us awake here. There is no reason on earth why schools should be set up as places for children to hate doing what they're doing and have to learn to repress their feelings of, of frustration and boredom and to be told that that's discipline. That's not discipline, that's inhumanity towards children. California. The work is all about so developing self-discipline. You have to make it happen. And in the making of it happen, you are controlled. You're self-controlled. But you want them to choose to know how to engage themselves. They have to learn how to get themselves in. That's what self-discipline's about. And, and this, I think, is really crucial to understand that Drama isn't something you do to children or that they perform separated from what's going on in the classroom. All it is, is it's a methodology which harnesses imagination and uses it for the purposes of teaching and learning. I also bank on my relationship with the children. I put that first. I will never sacrifice that. It doesn't matter if we never get to the drama. What I have to build is a relationship with the, with the children. What I have 
is a gift to give to some of these children. The male of the expert um, philosophy is something that all children need. And I believe that that's the way that education is headed to in the future, where children are going to have a lot more to say and where they'll have a lot more input. Well, it's like every day. Like, every this day is a is mile right there, so mm -hmm. about a mile. And yeah. we drink, yeah. And then we go about with the canoe. We go about with the canoe. <laughs> Thank you.